You may remember from a while back that when I first dug out the whole of the inside of this floor, there was actually one or two flagstones missing at this end, but I didn't think much more of it at the time. But today I'm going to try and dig through this where this gap is, just to see what I can find really, and also to see if there are any foundations of any kind beneath the rest of the floor and also beneath this wall I'm sat on. I've dug down a couple of feet until I hit rock and there does seem to be some kind of stone substructure here underneath the flagstones, at least in part. You can see half of this, this flagstone space here that's missing. Half of it has this kind of stone underlay and then the rest of it is just the subsoil that I've dug down into. In terms of any foundations, not so much really. <laughs> you can see there's, the flagstones are quite thin, they're about an inch and then there's maybe another inch of some form of rubble, hardcore, but very basic. And then it's just straight onto this subsoil here. It's very full of clay. It's a ready brown, sticky subsoil. Very full of clay. And the whole thing just appears to be built onto that. Obviously being an old floor, no insulation of any kind. It would have been ice cold pretty much year round. And it's a similar story for the walls as far as I can figure out. I dug a little bit underneath this rear wall here. And it's just, you could dig straight through it just with a hand pick easily enough. I mean, it's fairly compact, but it's easy enough to dig through. There's no apparent foundation there at all. It's just straight onto the clay subsoil. And I will eventually, I guess, find an another flagstone and fill this in and replace the other one, fill that back up with hardcore, and then see if I can find an exact match for that, for that flagstone. Well, I suspect, in fact, it's, it's still on site because you may have seen sometimes in the background of some of my videos, there's this old woodshed here, which is in fact covered in tarpaulin and it leaks. But inside there, is that, it has a flagstone floor. In fact, I'll show you. There's the ruins you can see through there. And then right by them, there is this old corrugated iron, what is now a woodshed. I think it was originally built as a garage in the mid 20th century. It's now far too small to use as a garage. I don't think you can fit modern cars in there, but it has a flagstone floor. You can see they're all quite cracked and pretty poor quality, but the whole floor is flagstone. And I suspect these were all taken from the ruins to build the floor in here. So I'm going to take them back at some point. I'm going to clear out this whole shed put a new floor in there, just not flagstones. I don't need, I don't, it doesn't need to be flagstones. Anything just cheap and cheerful, get some old paving slabs. I'm gonna take the stones back and see if I can find an exact match for that gap. Cause I, I wouldn't surprise me if it's in here somewhere. For the time being, I guess I'll just leave this here as a big trip hazard. I might, I guess I might, I, I could just cover it over with the, um, with the wheelbarrow, turn that upside down. So someone doesn't fall in there and break their leg. Anyway, that is as far as the adventure under the floor is gonna take us. I'm not gonna go any deeper than that.